Hey y'all of God's holy rainbow, how are you doing today? How's everything with you? I don't know if we can get that much music in the background. Disclaimer, I don't own the music I'm about to play. Because you might be able to hear it a little bit, maybe not that much. I feel to come on to you today and do a tag about things I tell my younger self and at the end of this tag i would definitely like to um tag a few people that have become uh dear friends to me it's nice to do this uh youtube thing and then after a while have a community of people that you can say you know these people you know they get me they subscribe to me they like me and we vibe off each other <laughs> things I tell my younger self I believe the Lord gave me this today and I've definitely since I'm a new somewhat of a newbie I'm getting to be an oldie now been on here from what February to now doing YouTube um it's been definitely fun but um there were times in my life that I definitely needed an encouragement uh, God knows a, a fairy godmother would have been the great and she might have showed up a few times, you know, not even a fairy godmother, a blessing from God, but things I tell my younger self. I tell myself, you're stronger than you thought you were. Sometimes there was a time in my life. And I know some of my family wants to go and be watching. They just sit there. And shout out to my, my I want to call him my little bro. Although he's a tall bro. His birthday's today. And i like to shout out to my brother, Ron, and say happy birthday to him. And, um, boy, I tell you, life is just it's so funny, boy. You you were little children, then you're bigger. But then you look at that person, your loved one, your sister, your brother. It's almost like they're still little, but then they're not. And then it is. And it's just the relationship you've had. Anyway, let me get down with the stack here. So things I would tell myself, I would tell myself to be encouraged. I would tell myself it would get better. And I would pray that God would allow me to elaborate in certain in instances. Especially concerning love, being in love. I desire to um, fall in love and um, have someone love me as much as the love I have for them to love me back. You know, and at times in my life, eh, especially high school, it didn't seem like it was going to work out for me. I mean, in high school, boy, I don't know what it is. I used to say back in the day, now I'm in my 40s, back in the younger 30s and such, I would say I was picked out to be picked on. Because I was picked on constantly as a kid. Like, I mean, what? I mean, in school is one thing. I can't get off on the weekends. You got to just find me and crack on me all the time, make yourself feel better. I mean, and I, there's even a book uh, years later. I might have heard about it in the past, but when my son was going through certain things, the his uh, someone from the school to work with, uh, his case manager told him about this book called The Whooping Boy. They would whoop on this kid about all these little certain things. Maybe getting that wrong, but they, they constantly picked on him and they constantly picked on me and once you know you have someone to we call it cracking on you once you find someone to crack on you just stay with that just like that's who you you getting cracked on so let's just keep that going because you like you use it right and um yeah i would tell you i would tell myself lisa you're going to really be all right in that thing uh one of my favorite uh my favorite movies is was uh growing up with cinderella and I always enjoyed the whole movie, especially the part when the dress and then this big, beautiful transformation. And I would, in in my days of not being yet born again, I would pray some of the parts that I, the song she was saying. Even though your heart is grieving, if you just keep believing, the dream that you wish will come true. And it did. You know, in a few, well, more than a few days, it's going to be our 28th wedding anniversary. And, um, yeah, I tell myself, you're stronger than you than I thought, than you thought you were. You really felt as though you really needed a big sister to carry you. That was my desire. 
But that's not nice. Your mother carried you for nine months, and then you want to be carried. I mean, it, it's honorable. We get it. You know, it's understandable. But God had you go on your way for a reason. And um, another thing is important. I never want to lose. It, it, I definitely had this a lot. Um... Before marriage, I want to say, and definitely during marriage. I don't ever want you to lose your optimism. I always just felt, I'm dropping stuff constantly on this channel. Um, I always felt optimistic despite, I just felt that, and it had to be only God to say, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to really be all right. I always had this optimism. And no, and my, and my, I know sometimes I might have got on my husband's nerves sometimes. It's just, and it, and it just be at the times of my life. I, I pray never leave, to lose that. Don't lose your optimism. You know, breathe in, breathe out. Just know, just somewhere up in there, it's something's going. It's gonna work out. You know, there's a song. I don't hear many people sing it as much. They say there's a bright side somewhere. There's a bright side somewhere. Don't you rest until you find it. There's a bright side somewhere. Excuse me, y'all. I had no <clears throat> water. I would say there's a Holy Ghost side somewhere. <clears throat> there's a Holy Ghost side somewhere. Don't you rest on, hey, till you find it. There's a bright side somewhere. Oh, yeah. Don't get me singing now. All right. It, yeah, the, yeah. there's a bright side somewhere. And um, despite how you feel, Lisa, um, uh, I don't know if y'all heard of it. Uh, KRS-One did a gospel uh, CD. And... Um, Sorry if I can't remember it. But he has this one song that's playing in my ear right now. To, and, and he said, no, you should never give up. I would say never give up. Mm -hmm. Never give up. Because, see, he, the wonderful thing about life is, it's just the it's wonderful thing about this. Okay, you, you're blessed to have this life. And depend on how you treat yourself, whether drink, smoke, etc., how you treat people. You get you got this life here. And you can have pretty much whatever you say. Mm -hmm. But you have to believe. And you got to have God as your co-signer. So you ain't doing none of this without Jehovah God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want I don't want to say names, but there's somebody they 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 just they just he just he celebrated himself. It was me that did it all. If it was not for God, ah, come on, Grandma. And 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 uh, he said, without God, I will be nothing. Without God, I will fail. Without God, my life would be drifting like a ship without a sail. This chick right here ain't living this life without God. But there were many times, uh, it was so funny, I just got off the phone with my, my, my brother. And many times in life, oh my gosh, I needed me some Jesus, honey. Always out here in the street and drugs and crack. Uh 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 uh. I ain't gonna make it with that. I need God. And when we really truly believe in God and stop shucking and jiving, just. Mm -mm. I realize it. I'm like, you can get you my, I can get, I can get you in any club and I can get you here and then take you here and take it there. But can you hook me up to get to heaven? If you can do that, then maybe I'll just jive around too. But since you can't, let me just live this life right. I need God all the way. I needed him when I had my partial hysterectomy in 2010. I needed him in the 1970s and we had I had open heart surgery as a little girl. I needed him when Lord forgive me, but I am being my, my parents didn't stay together. I needed him when different people in my life were hurting. You know, you lift your hands up and you just say, I need you, God. 
And some people just feel like, yeah, God should be doing thus and so. Like, you know, he's Santa Claus and, you know, just clicking heels and, you know, he's the he's he's the he's the Wizard of Oz and he's a genie in the bottle. Like God is just waiting and waiting on your request. Like he's Jeeves the Butler, and thank God he ain't like that. He said in his word, "I am not like man." <laughs> no shade in God. So, yeah, these are the things I tell myself. That's another good song. Thank you, Lord, for it. That's C.C. Winans. She says, um, it's going to get better. We can look it up on YouTube. It's gone. She's singing way better than me. Weeping may endure for a night. Uh, let me try. It's going to get better. Just look around. It's going to get better. Just look around, we've been making do for a night. But joy will come. It's going to get better. It's the truth. I'm looking at this little thing. Hey, I, ain't really, I put myself out like gray. I ain't know what's going on my shirt. There you go. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, it's going to get better. Why not? Oh, that's another song. Who sings that? That's L L Lisa Page Brooks. No, but she's a part of this group called uh, Witness. Why not give Jesus a chance? Why not give Jesus a chance? Why not receive him today? He will be in your heart if you would call his name. Yeah, that's important too. I, music is very highly important um, in my life in Jesus' name, you know. Um, being married this long and watching so many things, you know, it, it, there was a time um, when I would watch my dad play all the different records he'd play, and um, the, they weren't they weren't gospel records. And uh, he would tell me, I can still remember him telling me um, the different songs reminded him of. Uh, different people in his life or us and things like that. It's just, you know, when we were little children. And I was got a little, you know, God forgive me for being a little covetous. I'm like, well, I want that trait. And it's just about, you know, living and just going on with life and listening to all kinds of music and not all kinds of music, all kinds of gospel music. That's what I'm saying. And different songs do remind me of certain people. And it's really... It's really awesome and humbling when it happens. It's like, wow, God, thank you for, for letting me. I'm trying to adjust myself. I ain't comfortable. Thank you for letting me um, let me experience that. Excuse me. Um, yeah, that's um, that's cool. But yeah, you have to encourage yourself. God has brought me all these years, four decades so far. He didn't have to do it, but thank God for His mercy and His grace. And to let us, and you know that, so and and sometimes I thank God for our bishop, um, uh, in the headquarter church that that gave us different messages over the years. But something to the, to, if I were definitely paraphrasing, um, just said that you know that this certain things are not, certain things are not going to always be as they are. That you know the next day has to, to come. The page, I'm saying I'm paraphrasing, the, the page has got to be turned. And not turned, but turn the page. And today may not be like tomorrow. I mean, it, it, you know, you got to keep letting in there. I know Bishop Jenkins, Jenkins, not in the, he's a bishop, but I'm talking about Bishop Jakes. He says, um, the, the, you know, the, by, you know, just growing and living, he, he told the congregation to keep on living. You just keep on living. Don't give up. I know that God gave us a message for Apostle Kingdom. It's, it's called Don't Die. He gave us Don't Die. Because many people have definitely given up and uh, frustrated in life the whole nine. And I, 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 I don't like it, but I understand it. But we got to get to the end of our movie. So this is a revelation you never heard of on YouTube from the vessel. That's something I've said uh, before you start on YouTube. Lord, help me finish the movie of my life. 
you know, don't let me give up. You know, movie, the movies that I've watched, watched in the past, um, some of them, uh, old movies, they give you the, the, the credits of who was in the movie before the movie actually starts. Then I don't know what year it was. They decided not do it that way. They 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 tell you who's in the movie, but then the, all the other acknowledgments they leave it at the end of the movie. So your movie just started when it started, whatever year it started. We got to We got to do. We hang in there. We got to do more than hang in there. We got to finish that movie. Help me to, hello. Oh help me to pick the right cast members. <laughs> Help me to be in the, put put this have this movie in the right in the right location the right scenes, Lord edit move edit people out of the movie that don't belong there no more. Cause some people would like to keep when it's time to go when you gotta go. Yeah, most important. Uh, even if I need to watch this vlog more than one time, I need to continue to be encouraged. No matter if I don't have a group of people cheering me on. I do, <laughs> I do appreciate a uh, village, so to speak, you know, but sometimes um, there's things you have to learn while uh, on the backside of this desert, the Bible talked about a lot, different ones, just, just Jesus and, and, you know, and then as God sees fit, he will let, allow people to hear and know the things you know. There are a lot of people on here that I'm I'm knowing through YouTube and I'm seeing certain things getting ready to transpire in their lives, but I'm not gonna say nothing until it happens. It's positive things, not bad. Yeah, and so I'm gonna um I'm gonna just continually to be me. I'm not gonna put more pressure on myself than I need to. Um, I'm not quite doing the vlogmas, you know. If I was ever to do vlogmas, I would have to make sure whatever I have to do, whatever that days I'm doing it, that I have a plan and then, you know, follow through because it's nothing like giving someone your word. And I, that's one thing I almost don't like. If I had a pet peeve, like you give me a word that you don't do, it's like, what? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Then I got to go to God, repent. <laughs> got to repent. And, um, what is it? Ask God to forgive me and to help me not be mad at you. You know. Yeah, I just want to be one more word. So I'm, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it, what was that, um, the, the pain show? I'm going to keep it breezy, man. I'm going to keep it breezy and, and, and just be, be, be Lisa, be authentic. I was looking out for, for, um, I, I know I got off topic. I was, I was looking out for, um, for advice, and I and I, I wrote a friend of mine. I said, "Yeah, I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna be on my authentic self. I want to be me. You know, whether you're a mother, a wife, a first lady, um, a management of job, a president of the United States. I mean, uh, let me be careful with what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Vice president, and, and lawyers, and doctors, and." It's the most important behind those titles is you being your authentic self. And I'm going to be my authentic self. I don't want to act out of character. I want to be me. YouTube, is in, this channel is important to me because I like to go back and watch a lot of these videos. But my God, y'all, all those videos God bless us with, look where he brought us from, man. Brought us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought us from. You could have told me in you know, 2016 that I'd be a YouTuber. Because I wanted to start in 2016, but I didn't start. And I thought about it, and I thought about the backlashes and things of that nature. But uh, was that uh, Bishop Marvin Sapp? I'm stronger. I'm wiser. I'm better. So much better. I made it. That song, that song is, is never would have made it. That's a, that's the song. I never would have made it without him. We thank you, Lord, for coming forth and letting us get this far. I like to have try. I like to tag a few people. Uh, hopefully, you've gotten this far in this vlog. 
I would like to tag brown eyes on the budget to do the things I tell my younger self. Um, the Montgomery Family Channel. Uh, Sweet Sadie J. Marie's DIY. Um, if there's any way aging gracefully can do this tag, I appreciate it. Um, there's another young lady. I watch her. Her name, uh, her name is Talk Nation. This is important. Um, I haven't seen her. I've got to go back and watch her vlog. Uh, her, she's known as Mama Lex. Lord, I hope I ain't forgetting nobody. I'm trying not to. But, um, yep. Yep. Let's see. Should I show you anything else? I got this teeny weeny. That's this teeny weeny thing I got. It ain't food. Let's see. I used to have rattles around me, noise around me. Amazon is a pretty good place to get things from. Oh, and these things is heavy, y'all. It comes in this bag. This is the bag. And I've got some brushes to commemorate our wedding anniversary. They're very heavy. Here's a metal brush. Here's one. This one got a, they heavy too. It's got a moon on it. Look, you see that? They heavy. In my hand, about hits the, got a bad grandkid foul. They would stop because. These things, they're, they're metal. They're heavy. Look at it. There's another one. So let me get something pretty. Our anniversary is coming up. I just want something to commemorate the, the day. There's a fan brush. Um, let's see. I'm about to check in my, uh, oh, this was really pretty. It's silver, silver and gold. Oh, yeah, that's adorable. I had to check. Oh, this one's got a heart on it. Isn't that adorable? I don't know if it's a Sailor Moon or what, but I thought they were really nice. But I tell you again, these things is heavy. Woo! They're in my hand, but they got weight to them. They're beautiful. Me like. <laughs> yeah, Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> we, you know, my grandma said, I don't want to fall out with you. We had a little falling out, but I think <laughs> we back on track now. <laughs> we back on track. We, we back on track now. I had to put this back in this plastic because it's the scent. I want to keep it nice and it's beautiful, man. Yeah, I got the, I like to buy the brushes here. But I'm um, hoping all these women can handle doing this tag. I very appreciate y'all doing the tag in advance. Things I, things I tell my younger self is, I think it's an important um, exercise and encouragement. And I thank God to look back and see where he brought us from. My goodness. My goodness, um, I, I, there's but so much I could see for myself. I'm pull y'all over a little bit. Go, 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 go. Don't fall. Thank you. That's some winter plastic, y'all. Go ahead on your window. I learned that from my mom. Keep that it cold stuff out. Um, yeah, you. It's, it's a good exercise and encouragement. Look at the the look where God has brought you from. Look at look at what's you know, we we were very sad about uh, there's a few presidents in our marriage we we you know, and uh, one has passed away, and um, very you know in in ninety four is a is 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 long life but it's still not, it's still not easy to lose to lose a loved one because it's the pain of separation, you know there's another good song C C Wine and Comforter. Yeah, comforter, that's what you are to me, comforter, a name that fits so perfectly, P 
peace that passes all understanding. Ooh, comforter is who you are to me. Peace giver, life changer, joy river, peace giver, way maker, life changer, joy river, peace giver. Oh, that's a good song. Who has church right here? All right, I hope they all can, you all can do this challenge. I appreciate y'all doing it, accepting this tag. And, um, yeah, I'll probably do one more right after this one. <laughs> Be right back.